fingers in your butt. Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike. I am Jay. And this is a Patreon review for our friend Tyler Singleton. We have a tier on our Patreon where you can pick a movie for us to review or do a commentary for. And Tyler picked the movie We're called... Desperate for Money! <laughs> Incantation. <laughs> Show us your... Incantation is the name of this movie. It is on... Go from me. Be far away. Incantation. It's on Netflix. And it is a foreign film, but it's not subtitles. Oh, no. It's all shit dub. Big slim dog. 80 it's a, pound balls. Dick, you know six, what? Uh, I looked this up. It's a it's a Taiwanese horror film. And I think it was their most successful. Uh, I don't know if it was the most successful movie of 2022 for them or the most successful horror movie for them in 2022. Uh, it literally, I mean, it did very well. They have for wonderful Taiwan. food. Yeah. Huh? They have wonderful food. Yeah, they do. Called Incantation. And of course, that's what all men do before they get down with the sex and it doesn't work out usually when they do an incantation. Like, please be good and last at least three minutes. And it always is one minute. Uh, this movie is, uh, well, first off, I, you know, it's hard to, the dubbing is so Quantify. fucking awful. The dubbing is fucking awful. Like, it is some of the worst. <laughs> like, it is so, like, bottom barrel uh, voice acting, voiceover I've, I've ever heard. And, of course, I'm not a voice actor, so I don't know I don't know the ins and the outs of it. But just You're not? <laughs> uh, but, so, Why like, did I sleep with you last night? I don't night? know, because I said I was. Shit. Uh, but, like, there's, like, a scene where it's like, I will not go in there because I will be killed. <laughs> if I go in there, a wall will erupt with Stop fire. Stop it, Papa Bear. You mean that you're not the one? I will not go to the store with you. Why don't you go down to the grocery store? Fly a kite. I won't do it. <laughs> you're in a wheelchair. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Oh. She can have blow bubbles. I'm dying. There's literally a scene in that when the guy was like, uh, she's like, hey, is that kite for sale? And he's like, no, she's in a wheelchair. She cannot have a kite. Hey, why don't you have a why don't you have a blow whistle or a bubble whistle? Kids in wheelchairs like hot dogs. She's in a, a wheelchair. She should have a bubble whistle. <laughs> It's really bad. It's really awful. But overall, uh, despite that, uh, just watching the film itself. Um, it's well, what's not, it about? You, the, you say what it's about because okay, so it's crazy. There's a goddamn female Buddha uh, <laughs> called Mother Buddha. I don't know. Uh, I didn't write this shit. Uh, there's apparently it's, it's like it's it's, like, a, it's, it's found footage. It's like a found, it's, it's a found. It's, it's, hey, found I just say, it's a found footage horror movie with with the ring elements sprinkled throughout the sure. whole goddamn thing. That's all it is. Sure. Uh, I, because I don't want to give away too much of the movie because it is still relatively new and maybe some of you might have passed it by which, with good reason. Uh, but uh, it's not a terrible movie by any stretch of the imagination. Now, now other than the dubbing of the voices, which is awful. Uh, it's still it's shot well. I feel like the effects that they did on it were, were pretty well done. Like um, when when the daughter gets possessed and and she has that fucking goddamn honeycomb bees nest all over her body. I thought that was looking good. It's like Exhibit hosted a Pimp My Ride found footage special. Yeah. So they're like, we heard you like scares in your found footage, so we put some scares in your found footage on top of the scares in your found footage. It's yeah. every found footage trope you've ever seen in your life. Just flying at your face for two hours. Well, constantly. The thing about it is, though, it, the action. Bring the action. It doesn't happen uh, for me anyway. Listen, and I'm usually the butthole is always tight when I watch horror movies like this because I don't know when I might fart and I can't spell contest that. Jay's butthole is tight. It is tight, uh, especially when I'm watching what? a horror movie because it's always like I get scared of that kind of stuff. A, a, a girl and her two friends broke a ancient taboo and a curse was visited upon them and they've been suffering from uh, um, illusions and delusions and and images and hallucinations ever since. Yes, they were they were in a they were in a, a troop called the Ghostbusters and the, literally. <laughs> Somebody gonna get sued. <laughs> there were a troop called the Ghostbusters. They, really, they do say Ghostbusters. And there were a found footage YouTube channel, and they went into this tunnel they were not supposed to go into with these this crazy group of people, and they unlocked something, and now it's chased this woman back to the baby in her room, and then she gave up the baby, but then she goes back to get the baby, but once she gets the baby back, she's this cute little girl, and now all these horrific things are happening, and we're going back and forth between now with her and the little girl, and back when they unlock this curse. Yeah, I don't understand. So, why, do, why do you go and fuck with shit? Like older than you, like older than time. Like okay, hey, there's a statue, and yeah, it's weird looking, but I'm gonna go piss, pee on it. Yeah, I'm Ozzy Osbourne. I'll pee on this Alamo, <laughs> and then you're surprised when a fucking demon bites your asshole. So that being said, this is a movie for the people who who enjoy this movie. It's a movie where if you're looking for this direct thing, if you're just sitting around and you're going, I want something just depraved as shit. That it's not that depraved. No, I think it's pretty fucking depraved, dude. I like if if you if you're looking for something that's really gonna try to scare you, that's the best thing it I tries. can say about this movie for the entire 
motherfucking running time, this movie tries its little butt crack off to scare you because it's constantly doing found footage tropes. It's constantly doing jump scares. It's constantly doing creepy fucking weird fuck shit. It is trying so hard to get into you, but you have to be in a mood for that. Me, yeah. myself, was not in a mood to, to be taken and put in, into the, the the kitchen from Rob Zombie's Halloween's. Um, what do you call those things that in the dish that mash things up? Uh, dish, uh, you know, you turn on the button and it goes... Grrr. Blender. Bl no, heart in a blender. Um, yeah. D dish, dish... Dishwalla. Fuck, not dishwalla. Tell me all your thoughts on God. Because I'd really like to meet him. You got... Garbage disposal. By the way, that was counting blue cars, I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good song. Uh, yeah. But no, this movie takes you and it puts you in a garbage disposal of the nastiest part of the dirtiest ghetto you've ever seen. And it's just everything so wormy and gross and grody and molded. And it's a dark fucking place to spend two hours. So if you're in the mood for that, if you really want to be fucked with mentally and, and you can handle two hours of found footage craziness, I understand why people stumbled upon this and went that's my fucking shit yeah if you liked it more, get power, that. more power to you but I, it's not me i feel like it was a messy plot i night. feel like the plot was messy as fuck and, and when they do time jumps if you don't do it right you get lost and i got lost a few times because they do time jumps like six years before then it was six years so back. lost yeah i'm like what the f because they don't explain when you okay maybe it was the editing i don't know but like, because um, there are time jumps in the movie, it, yeah. like six years prior, and then it goes back to current times. But what know, season of American Idol is this? I don't even? know. I mean, is Simon still on here? But uh, yeah, like, and the girl, the, the, the lead girl in it is, uh, she's great. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, I feel like the acting for the most part was great, and I think the dubbing was really what made it look bad. Sure. Um, but um, it was an interesting idea. It, a lot of that shit reminded me of like some shit that's sitting in the Nuke's top five. Did you see it? Like you know those like those those channels where they're like, did you see it? Yeah. And it was like, oh, is this real or an elaborate hoax? You decide. It, it, like there was something 100%. that was just something about it that for like, two hours. Yeah. Like if you you know you know like, you're feeling I want to get spooky tonight. And you go on YouTube and you're trying to watch ghost videos. That's it. That's it. That's, That's exactly what it, what it feels like. And, uh, yeah. And they did their best, but I feel like it was uh, like the overall film. It. Uh, Especially the end. I will say I like them breaking uh, the fourth wall and they talk directly at the audience at the end of the film. I think that was cool. They started that way too. Like, I know. Help well, me. Why don't you put your hands together and sing the song when they, with me? But like, when they said, but when they literally talk at the audience at the very end of the movie and it all culminates, I was like, that's scary. Because it was like, if you were doing this along and, and memorizing the symbol and chanting, whatever. They try to include you. And they try to get really emotional with it. Like they really, like all of a sudden they're like, we want you to cry. Like they want to make you cry because there's this thing about where the little girl can't eat for seven days and the mom's in the in the hallway eating and crying and you're like, fuck, like I feel so like not only are you scaring me and I'm having to spend time in this really questionable basement for, for an hour, but now you're making me feel bad too. And all this awful stuff's happened to the cutest little girl in the fucking world, well, I, by the way. And I just, I, I wanted to get away from it, Steve. I feel the like entire movie, I wanted to get away. I just don't feel like enough time was spent on developing that relationship for the audience between the mother and the daughter for me to give a fuck what, what was it? you know that little point where she was like is that why you threw me away mommy and i was like yeah. god damn it but that ah. was a, that was a terrible dub so <laughs> it came out, is that why you threw me away into the trash can you did when you went to the foster care like i mean there's things about it like yeah of course i mean um in the original language it's probably gonna be a hundred times better but and i feel like the biggest sin they did was when they try to stop and they do exposition it takes too fucking long and yeah. it moves it off the plot and then you get lost. And then the time jump shit is dumb because you don't like, and maybe that's an editing thing. I don't know. It just feels like I get lost. I, I had to go back a few times and rewind it because I don't know what the fuck just happened. Yeah. Like we were there and now all of a sudden we're in a goddamn Waffle House. <laughs> when the fuck did she give up the girl? Like, you know what I mean? Like it's weird like that. Yeah. But overall, man, um, I'm glad I got to watch it because I, I never would have ever watched this movie. And it's it a trip. It, and it definitely does feel like it's got the, uh, the, the um, ingredients to be, a, uh, it's going to be remade. U.S. 100% is going to remake this movie. like Because obviously, uh, listen, uh, Asian culture has done phenomenal with doing horror. Like, phenomenal. Way better than Hollywood. 1,000%. That's why Hollywood is, like, hugely going over and stealing ideas from the Asian movies because they, they're doing such such a great job. Yeah. But this, uh, for me, this movie was okay uh, Taiwan Asian film. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a very forgettable American remake. For, uh, I could totally see that happening. And really, it's like it's like they put a bomb inside of a paper bag. Like, because they... 
they try everything they can constantly to really fuck you up and creep you out. And it's all horror movie tropes you've seen before. It yeah. almost does nothing new. Dude, I'll give this movie a 5.5. Um, it's above average. It's a 5.5. I don't personally think it's that great of a movie. And good for Taiwan. Taiwan's a small country, and they and, and it was their biggest movie, I think, in 2022. And uh, by all means, of course, it should you know get the praise. You know they're going against the, you know Hollywood juggernauts and shit. It's very broad strokes and it's very in your face and nonstop, but also it can still be boring mm -hmm. because they jump around through time and you're like at, at some point you just tap out and you go I'm just gonna sit back and wait till something scary pops maybe that, up. Maybe that maybe that was my problem. Like, I, I never got invested in the characters and that me either. And, and I just I didn't get invested in the characters. I didn't care. They're so obviously trying to throw the kitchen sink at you and scare you that it really keeps you from investing and in what's happening. If you throw one on more screen. kitchen sink at me, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I feel the same. It's actually a 5.5 for me oh, directly as well. I do think, though, they're gonna. if you're on that night and you're in that mood where you want a found footage movie that's going to be gross, disgusting, depraved, it's shot well. fucked up, and dark as shit, and really just try to get and disturb you, this is that movie for you. So I get why people who love it love it. And Tyler, it's a great fucking pick. I'm Thank glad you, to, shit to have watched it. I never would have watched it, for sure. Um, never heard of it at all. So, uh, And if you look, when I brought it up on Twitter, I was like, has anybody ever sat through this? Everyone who did see it was like, I fucking love that movie. Mm. So it has its big fans. Uh, maybe not for us, but I appreciate what it's trying to do. And I appreciate you, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. And I appreciate you fuckers. So uh, we'll see you guys soon. You guys are sexy fucks. Do you want to have an incantation with us? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn you, fucker. Halloween never ends, suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating, let's go fucking drinking, let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS.